What's going on guys? My name is Nick Saka and so you are probably interested in getting started in the insurance industry. The insurance industry along with the financial services industry creates more millionaires than any other industry on the planet. If you don't believe me, Google it, look it up. And uh, if you don't know who I am, this is your first time on my channel. My name is Nick Saka. I talk all things entrepreneurship, self-development, and insurance. I started my insurance agency journey about five years ago. We've scaled to about a $5 million agency. I have my, uh, my fair share of experience in getting all of my employees licensed and ready to go uh, from start to finish. And so in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through step by step how to get licensed. Um, depend, and it doesn't even matter what state you are in uh, or which license you are applying for. These tips should help you get your license as soon as possible. If you get some value, destroy the like button, subscribe, follow me on my social media platforms, and let's get started. So first, you're gonna need study materials. The study materials that I recommend are one of two, either Kaplan or ExamFX. To pull that up, you pretty much, I would recommend just going to, uh, you can just go to Google and search Kaplan, your state insurance, Kaplan insurance, and you will be able to pull up, it'll be kaplanfinancial.com, and you can shop by state, as I'm walking you through it here, um, I happen to be in Nevada, so I'm gonna go ahead and type that in. And then you have the options for life and health, property casualty, or personal lines. I'm a PNC agent, right? And so all of my employees, I usually sign them up for that. Uh, with Kaplan, uh, you're gonna, I always recommend choosing the basic study materials. You don't need all that extra stuff all the extra bells and whistles just because um, to me, the basic package is gonna give you all the study, all the studying materials that you need to pass the test. And, uh, and while we're on this subject, I also uh, have dropped a video on how to study and pass your PNC test, your state test. So I'll uh, drop that in the link right there as well as uh, I've made another video on how to study and pass your PNC test uh, using Kaplan as well, so you can check that one out as well. But first and foremost, you're gonna need the study guide. You're gonna need to study your face off for anywhere from one week to three weeks. I've had a girl pass her test in six days, uh, which is impressive, and it's totally possible assuming that you're putting in the work and you're studying your face off, taking as many practice quizzes and exams possible, and really familiarizing yourself with the information. Um, yeah, it's not as hard as the stuff they taught us in high school. This stuff is pretty easy. Just study your face off and take the practice exams. That's my best advice for you. The study materials are anywhere from $100 to $150. And the most important thing that you're gonna need from the study guide that you use, whether it's ExamFX or Kaplan or, or another one, is you're gonna have to pass a certification exam on either one of them that's going to allow you to print a certificate of completion. And you're gonna need that certificate of completion when you apply for the state license, which we'll get into later. But that's my advice on the, uh, the study materials. Um, you're gonna need to use something to help you prepare for it. In my opinion, Kaplan's the best. So once you sign up for the study materials, what you're gonna want to do on the same day is sign up for your test. You wanna schedule your test. Now you're gonna schedule your test on a website called pearsonview.com. The easiest way to get there is to just Google um, your state plus Pearson View Insurance. So uh, in my case, I'm gonna look up Nevada Pearson View Insurance. And the very first thing that pops up is Nevada Insurance Pearson View. Now, my advice for you is the same day that you sign up for the study materials is the same day that you're gonna to wanna to schedule your test. I recommend, most common, it's gonna take anybody, uh, anybody on average two to three weeks to study and pass this test, but you might be smart, you might be smarter, and I had a girl pass this test in six days, 
And so it really just depends on you and what your ability and confidence level is. But I can tell you this, if you study your face off and you give it 100%, you can pass this test in one week, in my opinion. And if you fail it, just schedule it right again, the very again, uh, the very next day. So that way you're able to pass it um, and the, the information still fresh in your mind. But uh, you're gonna go to Pearson View, Nevada, in your state. You're gonna have to create an account, as you can see right here. I'm not gonna actually create an account, but you kinda get it. You have to accept the terms here and, and then create your account. And then this is where you'll schedule the test right from here. And typically you can choose multiple testing locations and then just schedule the test. The cost for the test is anywhere from 50 to $60, and so, you know, between the study materials being 100 to 150 plus the test costing 50 to 60, you're looking at maybe on average 160, 170 in total cost so far. And then once you schedule your test and you take the test in person, you are going, and once you pass, you're going to get a piece of paper that says pass. Uh, I say that because you're going to need that piece of paper along with a certificate, which we'll go over at the end on what we're going to have to submit to the state to get your um, license approved, okay? So now the third thing that you're gonna have to do, um, once you pass the test and once you pass the certification and the study materials, you are going to have to get fingerprinted and you can uh, Google, I'm gonna go ahead and Google, you know, your state, I'm just gonna put Nevada insurance fingerprinting, okay? And so you're gonna wanna do this for your particular state. You can also, uh, so Fingerprinting Express is one that we've used multiple times. It depends on your state again. But you can also, uh, you make reservations for fingerprinting through Pearson View as well. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and so you're gonna need fingerprints um, along with that package that we're gonna submit to the state. And so fingerprinting costs anywhere from, fingerprint costs anywhere from uh, 50 to $60 as well, I believe. I'll say $50. $50 is what fingerprinting is gonna cost you. And then lastly, after you get your fingerprints, you're gonna to go to a website called sircon.com. That's S-I-R-C-O-N, as you can see here from the screen. And then here is where you're gonna package all the information that we just went over and apply for a license, okay? Now this is where, you know, you're gonna read this, it's gonna say a new insurance license, you're gonna be resident, individual, continue. You're gonna put your email address, and this is where you're gonna package up everything that we just went over um, into the uh, Sircon website. And this is the, the website that reviews and, and approves your insurance license, no matter what it is, whether it's property, casualty, life and health, or your personal lines, and so, um, depending on your state as well, Sircon might have a fingerprint waiver form. I know that they have that here in Las Vegas that, uh, that, that I need to submit with the package. So you're looking at a total of four pieces of information, four pieces of documentation. That's the certificate of completion, your past results, your fingerprints, and the fingerprint waiver form. Now this also assumes that you don't have anything on your record, okay? Now the uh, CERCON's gonna ask you a handful of questions uh, regarding your background. You know, have you done any, you know, are you any tax delinquent, any child support obligations? It's gonna ask you all sorts of uh, questions that you're gonna need to answer. And if you have anything on your record, they may ask for more documentation. So make sure you have your court paperwork and, and all the information that proves that it's been settled and, and, and pretty much taken care of. And once you submit all of this to the state, uh, it takes anywhere from two to three weeks. You know, lately I think it's taken a little bit longer, maybe two to four weeks for them to review and approve your state license for insurance. And I will tell you that the, the, the application fee for CERCON is $250. And so if you total up, you know, all the costs, just to give you an idea of what it costs from start to finish, step by step to get your insurance license. Let's just say $150 for study materials, $50 for the test, $50 for, uh, for the fingerprints, and then about $200 for the, uh, for the, uh, the application. You're looking at a total cost of about $450, just depending on your state, like I said. So, for under $500, you can become licensed for insurance. 
This, of course, needs to be renewed every three years. That's a whole different video, uh, but you all essentially do that by just taking continuing education, uh, um, study materials and, and, and education credits that you don't have to retake this test. I hope this helps you guys. Um, the process can take, like I said, the whole process between you getting licensed can take a month to a month and a week. And that should hopefully help you guys. So if you got some value out of this video, uh, uh, do me a favor, destroy the like button, um, and as well as follow me on my social media platforms and uh, check out my other videos. Be sure to check out the one on Kaplan, how to study and pass your insurance test. Link in the bio and, uh, or in the caption, I'm sorry. And uh, thank you guys for watching, I appreciate you, peace. And lastly, if you and your team are looking to change the way you guys do business. If you're looking for additional coaching and training, I've been using Craig Wiggins Coaching for the last four years and it has changed the way we do business. If you and your team, or maybe you work for an agency, get your agency owner on board, go to craigwigginscoaching.com, sign up for the monthly training. You can have unlimited users and it's only $177 a month. But if you use the discount code SAKA, my last name, S-A-K-H-A, you will get $100 off your very first month. Tell them I sent you. I promise you it'll help you and your agency. Thank you, guys. Peace.